yeah. Sanjeev Goenka and Siddharth Bilda both are joining us right now. Um, uh, right now, Sanjeev Goenka is with By the way, uh, on a, just, just yeah. sorry, sorry about this, but 10 points on the Nifty now. 10 points 10 on the points. Nifty, okay. 10 points it's on correcting the Nifty. back. Sanjeev Goenka is waiting there, Prashant. Uh, Sanjeev uh, Goenka, thank you so much for joining us, uh, joining us right now from uh, Kolkata, Obi Lake. Uh, thank you, Sanjeev. First take, what is majorly positive in the budget? I'm putting the word majorly right now. Very strong directional blueprint. Mm. Very strong directional blueprint for the next few years. Restores the international and domestic confidence in investing. A strong blueprint for manufacturing sector. Personally for me, I think the assurance that coal will be supplied to power plants that will begin within March 15 and the extension of the tax holiday. I think these are all very, very positive features. Very, very positive. Uh, is it very, very positive compared to, let's say, Siddharth Billa joins us right now. Thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Billa. Uh, Mr. Billa, your views. I just got Mr. Sanjeev Goenka to quickly respond. He, what is the most positive thing that you saw in this? Well, actually, there are many positive things. Uh, uh, you know, one is on the softer side, which is the policy clarity, the stability, uh, providing a conducive regime. Number two is the enabling uh, structures that uh, he has conceived about uh, raising long-term finance for in, uh, infrastructure and for construction by way of the REIT funds and uh, the infrastructure investment funds. Uh, those, are, those are on the softer side, but they are absolutely required if we want to boost this sector. Uh, he has given some timeline. It's not been as clear as one would have wanted, but let us uh, wait to read the fine print, uh, which is on the GST, which uh, we still continue to hope uh, from FIKI that it will be introduced sometime in the next calendar year, which is 2015. So I heard nothing in the budget that uh, moved away from that, even though there was no uh, direct statement. I think on the taxation side, particularly on the providing a conducive tax environment, there were uh, many uh, uh, positive steps. I think the one thing which I liked most about whatever uh, plans he laid out was that almost everything had a timeline to it. And uh, I'm sure given the discipline of this government that we will see the delivery during those timelines. So I think that was a, uh, that was a really good positive. And uh, the most important thing was the fiscal prudence. Uh, because without fiscal prudence, we will never become uh, known as a responsible destina destination for capital. And uh, therefore, fiscal prudence and the way he's going about it is uh, probably the right way. So, I'll, I'll go back to Sanjeev Goenka there. Uh, the key differentiator, Mr. Goenka, seems to be the assumption that this government is going to be much more disciplined, much more delivery-oriented. Because if I look at, again, the interim budget presented by Mr. Chidambaram in February this year, the target was 4.1. Last year, he said 4.8. He achieved 4.6. He's uh, spent almost what he wanted on subsidies. His uh, receipts were lower. Mr. Jaitley is admitting that it's going to be difficult to achieve 4.1. Now, what is the key difference? What is the difference which makes you feel more positive about this than what we had last year? I think this is a very practical, make it happen kind of a budget. Mm -hmm. uh, the finance minister recognizes the challenges. He recognizes the shortcomings of the economy. Keeping those in mind, he has framed his policies. I think uh, it's a very business-like approach to a to a problem. And uh, the track record of Mr. Modi and has been one of delivery. The track record of the NDA government in the first few weeks has been one of delivery. Uh, the approach is a very practical, business-like approach. Therefore, that gives confidence that they will be able to implement what they're doing. There are no lofty statements. Uh, it's a very feet on the ground realities in the mind kind of a budget. I, uh, Siddharth Billa, Prashant has a question before that. Very quickly, I want to ask you that if I look yeah. at uh, Sanjeev Goenka was talking about the positive track record in the first few weeks. 
of the government. Yep. But uh, there are many things which the government was expected to do which it has either deferred or not done, whether it's LPG subsidy, whether it's increasing gas prices, rolling back commuter fares. Um, there are uh, commuter fare increases. The budget, the railway budget and this budget seems to me to be something where you can only see it positively if you've lowered your expectations from what you had before the elections. I think there's no denying that uh, in the public or in the stock markets, the expectations had probably run away uh, beyond uh, manageable levels. Uh, but I think from the business sector, uh, we had our expectations reasonably tempered in the sense that uh, they were tempered to the reality. What we've seen, uh, as Mr. Goenka spoke, uh, what we've seen in the first month is, uh, I think, the, the, the work culture, the setting the tone of the work culture and uh, creating structures where decisions could be taken. For example, I think uh, the removing the GOMs in the EGOMs, which had become very pervasive, has been uh, a, a remarkable step in the first few days of the government. And uh, then also to put uh, commonly related ministries under sort of umbrellas uh, so that the decisions could be more closely uh, coordinated is also a hugely welcome step. So according to me, in the first month, they've spent a lot of time uh, creating a robust uh, decision-making structure. On the, on the second, uh, second issue, which uh, directly you didn't ask me, which is uh, on the 4.1 and 4.5 percent, uh, why do we get confidence out of that? I think we have to look at the quality of the 4.1 because 4.1, uh, 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 Mr. Chidambaram wanted to achieve 4.1, but the 4.5 that he achieved were in difficult circumstances, but was qualitatively very different from the 4.5 which is being forecast now, because we see a lot of plan uh, spending would have come back on the table in this uh, Mr. Jetley's budget. So I think qualitatively the two 4.5 percent are very different. Mr. Uh, Mr. Birla, uh, the number for fiscal 15, Prashant here, good afternoon, is 4.1. Yeah. He said we'll, we'll, we'll stick to 4.1, <coughs> fiscal 15. Bo boss, uh, the uh, cameras have kept us so busy that uh, we haven't had time to read it. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you what I understood from the speech, we debated this. No, no, we, we looked I think at the budget at a glance document, it's 4.1. I so think if you look at the 5,31,000 5, like crores that he has talked of the deficit, Right. Actually works out to 4.5 percent. That is that is the uh, what I was able to get out of the uh, various analysis. Okay, we'll reconfirm that. We'll reconfirm, mention, we'll reconfirm yeah, that. Yeah, because he, in the opening part of his speech, he said 4.1 is a daunting task, and I accept the challenge. But when you come to the actual uh, body of the speech, he says it will be 4.5 with a revenue deficit of 2.9. All right. Okay. Uh, okay, so I, th I think that is where we are. You know, fiscal 14, tax growth was 10%. Yeah. Tax collection growth was 10%. He's uh, for fiscal 15, he's kept the tax growth assumption same at 20%. Uh, is that realistic? Well, the economy is picking up, but I don't know that without the GST, whether how much the revenues will keep up. But I'm sure they've done their numbers uh, on the conservative side. So I, I don't have the numbers in front of me, and I haven't had time to in fact look at the budget documents myself uh, but uh, uh, let us see I, th I think there could be a robust growth particularly uh, we've increased something on the uh, service tax side uh, we've uh, pruned the negative list on the service tax side so let us see how this uh, works out uh, Mr. Goenka good afternoon Prashant here, sir for infrastructure construction manufacturing sec uh, okay you wanted to respond to what Mr. Bidla said earlier No, well, I think uh, I, I personally would like to say that, uh, as I said earlier, I do believe it's a credible, feet-on-the-ground kind of uh, presentation on the budget. Uh, and I, I think that they've recognized reality, they've recognized their constraints, and they've presented their uh, budget with all that in mind. Therefore, we have to believe that uh, they're going to make it happen. Okay, okay, no, uh, fair enough. Uh, for infrastructure, construction, manufacturing, uh, Mr. Goenka, there are a few things, right? REITs, uh, there is uh, relaxation to banks on SLR and other requirements for infrastructure bonds, uh, creation of 100 smart cities, industrial clusters near existing settlements, focus on rural housing, rural roads have been re-emphasized, uh, target of 8,000 kilometers of roads for NHAI, 
Uh, how, how do these uh, sound to you and just sort of compare this against what was the thrust uh, of the earlier government? Well, this sounds fantastic. Uh, this sounds really, really good. And if you remember, it was in the first NDA's regime, the NHAI program, and that was 5,700 kilometers, which had really led to a revival of uh, the Indian economy and the manufacturing sector. So this is more than that. And if uh, this kickstarts the economy, it will be great. And I do believe it will. There are multiple measures, and it's well thought out, from smart cities to tourism centers to, to bonds to fuel supply issues to power plants to uh, uh, making roads and improving connectivity. Uh, I think it's very well thought out. It's a very measured uh, presentation of the situation. And it restores confidence definitely in the economy. It restores confidence in uh, manufacturing. It restores confidence in investment in India. And I think uh, when I say this, I would say this not only for myself, but I would say this for corporate India and I would say this for the international world. Got that. Uh, Mr. Goenka, Mr. Birla, appreciate you, both of you joining in. A pleasure, Thank sirs. You. And uh, you. hope to, once we have the finer detail, and that will take some time. It was a long speech, long yeah. uh, budget. I guess we could sort of uh, chat once again. Thank you very much for now. Appreciate it.